Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to back up your SHSH blobs using iFaith. Now iFaith is a little different from something like Tiny Umbrella in that it allows you to pull your SHSH blobs from your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad as opposed to needing Apple to have, be still signing it. And now there are definitely some big advantages to using this method. For example, let's say you're on an older firmware like 4.0.1 on an iPhone and you are unlocked. Now that's great, you know, obviously you're going to be unlocked on that firmware, but uh, let's say that there's some problem and you know you need to restore your device. Well, if you don't have the SHSH blobs, because obviously Apple is not signing them anymore, you're going to be forced to update to a new firmware and lose your unlock. And of course, there are lots of other reasons why you might want to stay on older firmware or need your old SHSH blob. So what this allows you to do is capture the SHSH blob from whatever firmware your device is running right now and save it so you can always get back to that firmware. This is very, very nice. Uh, if you were not able to grab the SH, SH blob, for example, maybe you bought a new iPhone and it came with an older firmware that you needed, or, you know, there's all kinds of different reasons. So, let me give you guys a quick tutorial on showing you how to use this. Uh, now, before we begin, there is one thing I do want to mention. Now, this is going to work on several devices. It's going to work on the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPad 1 and the Apple TV 2. Now I'll be giving you guys a demo on an iPod Touch 4th generation, but of course the process is the same for all devices except for the Apple TV, and there are a quick tutorial to, to show you guys that. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin. The first step is, is to go ahead and plug your iPod, iPhone, iPad, whatever. Be sure to plug it into your computer and make sure that uh, iTunes is closed down and everything like that. And then you're going to need to download iBaith, which I will have a link to in the description of this video. So we'll go ahead and open this up here take just a moment to load and then once it does you guys can see here it's a just really simple interface just tell you that it's not for commercial use so that's fine click OK I uh, give it one moment to just process your device and then you will have a few options and uh, the first of which is build signed IPSW now that's what you want to do later on but we're not quite there yet we need to get our SHSH blobs first you can show uh, available caches so whatever your SHSHs are saved you can see that well, one nice thing about iFaith is that instead of using the standard Soric server where you know you see it in Cydia it's actually saved on a separate server that I hate snow who's the, of course the developer of this program does have so not only can you save it on your computer but it's also going to be saved on a separate server so that's really nice. There's also iReb built in. Of course, most of you guys know what iReb is, so we won't get into that, but it is built into iBaith. So let's go ahead and just click dump SHSH blobs. Now before we begin, I do want to mention one more thing. Uh, of course, while this supports pretty much all firmwares from 3.1 all the way to 4.3.3, this also will work on non-jailbroken devices. So if for some reason you're not jailbroken and you still want to stay on an old firmware, this will work no problem. So it doesn't matter, all types of devices, all that kind of good stuff, it will work just fine. So we can go ahead and click proceed. Let's go, and we are not dumping an Apple TV too. So the first step is, is to come over to our device, and we need to shut it off. Now again, make sure that it is already plugged in. iTunes is all closed down and everything. And then just go ahead and hold the power button until it shuts off. And what we are going to be doing is entering our device into DFU mode. I'm sure most of you guys have done this before if you've ever jailbroken. Very simple, but I will go ahead and walk you guys through it. So once you see your device is totally off, there's no pinwheel or anything, we can click start. We're going to need to hold the power and home button for five sec or ten seconds rather. So ready, set, go, holding them, and then we will just hold them for ten seconds. And then as soon as it says we can, we will release the power button and continue holding the home button, and then let the program take over from there. All right, so we're done with the power button. I'm going to continue holding the home button. Hope you guys can see that. Okay, here. And it'll take. It says about thirty seconds, but there we go. So as soon as you see this program, we're good to go. So we can just let it sit here for a while. We can just set our device down. And now it will take a few minutes to go ahead and capture all of our SHSH blobs. Okay, so as soon as it's done, it will ask you for a place to save your SHSH blobs. This is very important. While it will be stored online, of course you can use it through there, um, it's really nice to have it saved on your computer. So you can just pick any old place. I'll just pick my desktop, save it up. It'll take just one moment, and it will, now it will go ahead and save the cache to the server. So there you go. It will say it's all done. Keep them in a safe spot. Even email them to yourself. And now we can click OK. Click OK once more. And then if that's all you need to do, you just wanted to back it up, you're good to go. Uh, now if you'd like to make sure that it did work, you can click Show Available Caches on Server. Give it one moment and it will actually go ahead, pull up it up, pull it up on your ser on the server. As you can see here, it shows that I do have 4.3.3, which is what I just did, saved. And if I wanted to, I could go through if I had other blobs like you know older firmware or whatever, I could do that. Anyway guys, that's it for my tutorial showing you how to back up your SHSH blobs using iFaith. So if you have any questions or comments or problems or whatever, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more jailbreak and all kinds of tech related content.